Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a belief in a universal bond of sharing that connects all of humanity. We are all bound together in ways that are invisible to the eye, that there's a oneness to humanity, that we can achieve ourselves by sharing ourselves with others and caring for those around us. I believe, or I truly want to believe in the power of Ubuntu, but are we really connected on a human level? Last year, I saw the terrible and terrifying pictures of all the people who fled the war in Syria. And it touched me. It followed me. I, I couldn't let go. Why is this happening? Is this really possible? I, I felt powerless. What could I do? What could we do? And then, it hit me. As a human being, and as a teacher, and as a mother, we have to set an example. We have to not just talk about it with our colleagues and our students and our family, but we have to do something. We have to act. And so we did. We wanted to seek the connection with real people in Europe who were stranded in Europe. So this year, we went to Lesbos and we took five, five students with us. We wanted to help the people who were stranded there, but also to give our students a life experience and to take that experience back to the Netherlands. And the result of that Lesbos experience was the capability to see with a new pair of eyes beyond the Dutch perspective. The realization what we have in freedom and wealth and liberty. How a passport can make all the differences. And our students brought back those experiences back to the Netherlands and shared their stories with their surroundings. So, our students handed out food and clothes and they laughed and they cried with these people. And they learned that if you're open for the situation, if you're open to really connect, it's not that hard to connect from human to human. Lesbos was an enormous mirror. We faced our own narrow view of all the problems we had seen from a distance. I believe, I believe that education is the foundation of change. That if we truly want to change our way of thinking and of connecting, we have to start at schools because our students are the next leaders and the developers and the entrepreneurs, yes. You, 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 you students, you're the next developers and the teachers of the future. So yes, a dream was born. Why not bring education on a different location? to learn from an extreme reality, not only from books. We developed the last few months with students a new learning method. We bring education in the context of a crisis situation. And our uh, education method has three goals. Our first goal is to assist the people in their needs, who are in a crisis situation. And our second goal is to help or give the students the knowledge they need right there on the spot. And our third goal is to create a new narrative. Students bring their own stories and, 
and everything back to the Netherlands and they inspire, hopefully, the world around them. They start the dialogue. Where Lesbos was seemingly accidental success, we now developed a pilot. So, four new students, they picked a crisis area where they wanted to help, and they picked Calais. So, this October, four weeks ago, we went to Calais. But, unfortunately, the jungle was forbidden because of the demolition at that time. So, we worked in a warehouse. And there, we sorted out shoes and tents and clothes. Yeah, and so on and so on. And our students were at first a bit disappointed. But the more they worked, the better they saw that crisis work is not about uh, handing out food only. And what a unique chance to be there, right there at that time, and to talk with the long-time volunteers who told their own stories, and to compare those stories with those of the media and to learn to trust your own thoughts and to ask critical questions. And at that time, it hit our students. Every item you hold in your hand is for a real person. That you decide the quality of that item. You can give a bit of self-esteem back by a warm, nice, clean coat or a pair of good shoes. Our educational part took also place because our students had a lot of questions about sociology and ethics and human rights in this context. So every evening we sat together and we reflected. And that was our second goal, to give the people, the students, the knowledge they need right there on the spot. That week, we also went to Dunkirk. And Dunkirk is a refugee camp where 1,200 people live. And our students met with people from different cultures, with different beliefs and different values. And when you're there, well, they had, oh, they had a cup of tea with them, and they did the dishes, and they handed out food, and also worked at the kids' center. And when you're there, even just for two days, you immediately compare everything you see with your own life. And comparing and realizing that no one there chooses to leave their home, that this is survival. So, now the students start to see the real people. They have created a place to meet from human to human. We went back to Calais, the fifth and last day. And our students went into the jungle because the jungle was empty. <coughs> except for the children. And another reality hits in. Children, only a few years younger. No parents. Depending on volunteers. No government support. Abandoned. They only have each other. How would you feel? How would you react? Would this change your perspective? The crisis area works as the catalyst for self-development. Our students learn so much about their own surroundings, about their own thoughts and assumptions, but also about their capabilities and their weaknesses. About their position in this world and how privileged they are. We've only been there five days in France, but it truly was an extreme long life learning experience. And our students, aside from the lessons learned, now start to see the value and the necessity of a diverse and intercultural society. We need to create a brave new world. 
We need to create a world where people are not afraid of the unknown, where people are not afraid of each other. We need to create awareness. And yes, that's our third goal. We need pioneers. So, please become a pioneer and share your own stories and help other people to see and to look beyond their prejudice. Can you imagine when this creates a ripple effect? Our students, they, sh they share the lessons learned and they inspire the world around them. So, do we dare this? Do we dare to make this education real? Do we dare to give our future students the chance to change this world, to see the beauty of our differences? And to connect and include each other beyond the screen. I am you, because we are all one. And that is Ubuntu. Thank you.